this is a quarter mile of beach that's going to be restored and given back to natural processes is a story we need to tell. And then I think it's a story of bravery and a story of love for this place. I am the chair of the Leadership Council of the Puget Sound Partnership. The partnership's the state agency that was created in 2007 to oversee the restoration of Puget Sound by 2020. One bulkhead's not going to destroy the sound, but finally we live in a very different time where one bulkhead plus another bulkhead plus another bulkhead, it's not just really three bulkheads, it's it's a death by a thousand cuts. We as humans don't necessarily like coastal erosion because it seems to be taking our land away, but it's also what's building our beaches. And those beaches are what creates habitat for the aquatic organisms that live there. Just in front of the armoring, you've got this very narrow fringe of salt marsh. What we should see is a much broader band of salt marsh. So when we remove the armor, we'll see an expansion. In addition to simply removing all of the armor, we're going to plant native vegetation. They create shade, they produce insects. We need to start restoring some of that habitat that's been lost. Juvenile salmon, particularly Chinook, eat a lot of terrestrial insects, even when they're in the salt environment. And we change those modifications back to where it's compatible with human use, but it also is much healthier for the species that live here. The aquatic and the terrestrial environment are linked. So my hope is that this is one of a string of, of uh, great stories that we can cobble together around the sound that's going to add up to recovery. <laughs>